Hello. 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 Love, love, love. Hello. Love, love, love. Love, love, love. The Jersey Show. What is your definition of love? Oof. I think you asked me. You asked me that question yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> so the definition of love is your want and desire to support someone and uh, commit to someone, which includes sacrifices of self for yeah. the unit. I think uh, we confuse maybe love as an emotion as that's the only thing, but I think it's actually the choice. So basically it's the choice to pick a person and then love grows as your commitment grows. That's the way I see it at least. So what's the key to longevity when it comes to love as a couple? I think it is uh, being open to change because you're going to have to change when you live with someone because they're going to change and you're going to have to be ready to you know, change together but you cannot stay exactly where you were. And I think it's also the understanding that once you live with somebody or you're married to somebody or even if you're in any kind of committed relationship that that is your family and your relatives and everything else has to in some way even though they're part of your system become to some degree secondary and you put all your effort into that commitment because at the end if you if that focus is not divided if it's not fully given to your unit you will not be able to actually reach goals or develop in the same direction or support each other and i think that's what i found that a lot of people struggle with uh, kind of how do you grow up into a relationship and I think that's also been our challenge over the years the most but uh, as you go you kind of learn and you get there <laughs> <laughs> so beautiful guys thank you so much thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so you. much anything else to add um say so like if you find a really person who really feels like they are somebody who can be your person give it time and invest and see what you can learn from them and what they can learn from you and if it's not working out, that's fine. Sometimes it might work out later when you get to the certain point. So uh, just enjoy it, right? Right, guys. So what is your definition of love? Okay, you should start. No, no, go, ahead. Ahead. go ahead. Go ahead. Take your time. Baby. Okay, my definition of love would be no matter what happens, don't give up. Like just because it's a bad day or a bad period of time, don't just give up on your lover. That's your partner for life because that's how I see it love doesn't die i strongly believe if it, if it dies it's not love so not love. you know what i'm saying but i'm like a strong believer that love is eternal and you've been connected with that person in your past lives and it's a forever thing again yeah, spiritual duh <laughs> you know what i'm saying it's like an intimate thing Can so go? go ahead i'll say love to me is like Love is commitment. It takes a lot of commitment with love. Sometimes, you know, not everything's gonna be perfect. That's just how it is. You just have to be there for the person. Someone sometimes they like it could be a 50-50 stuff, but sometimes it's like someone's not gonna give 50. So you can give more energy than the other person. So it's just about committing to the other person and just go through everything together, really and truly. That's just how I see it, to be honest. Yeah. What do you think the key to a long relationship is? The key? I'll say it takes a lot of communication. It takes a lot of communication. Vulnerability as well. Like, exactly. you have to put yourself out there. Even if you can't be like, oh my God, but what if he's going to do this? There's no if. Do it. Without communication, there will be a lot of miscommunication, overthinking, anxiety. And we're overthinkers, so <laughs> I know when he overthinks and he knows when I overthink. Yeah. I can just feel the energy, it's different. It's called soul ties. Soul you know ties, what yeah. <laughs> what is your definition of love? Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> My definition of love is someone who respects you and cares about you and someone that you have fun with. I think <laughs> it's an all-encompassing feeling. I would assume, and yeah, I mean, yeah, I don't, I like literally <laughs> wouldn't even know. I feel like it's just, <laughs> it's unexplainable for me. Okay, so 
What would you think the key to a successful, long-lasting relationship is? Communication. Trust. Communication, trust. Mm -hmm. Yeah, trust as well. Loyalty and respect. I mean, second. Second all these. Yeah, 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 yeah. I could go on forever. So you said that you've never been in love before, Lady in Red Talk. Yes. Why have you never been in love before? Um, because I haven't met anybody that's worth my time or is oh. worthy of my love. So you know how precious you are. Yes. What's your definition of love? Definition of love. I think love is a feeling, but it's also a set of actions as well. And these include like taking care of someone, um, going above and beyond when you can, being understanding and supporting each other's dreams and, um, and things, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So what do you think the key to a successful and long lasting relationship is? Difficult conversations, lots of banter, lots of surprise, excitement, and just reminding each other why you guys are special to each other, um, and yeah, and why you want to share life with this person, and just, just constant reminders of that, and uh, making sure things don't get stale or don't get boring, I think that's, that's the vibe for me. Yeah. That's actually a good one, man. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank <man>. you. <laughs> The definition of love is tr trust in each other, no matter what, and being there always. Oh. That's love, and Uncon yeah. unconditionally, as they say in the words. And <laughs> so, what would you say is your definition of a long-lasting relationship? What can make a relationship last long? They say, I think, good communication. Communicate like when you don't like something, when you when you like something what you like what you don't like that's like at least in my one year relationship that's why it works right so ladies what is your definition of love love is beautiful i've had it and i had it for 26 years it is the most beautifulest feeling in the whole wide world and i would love to go back to that moment in time again over to you, Dawn. <laughs> now you got the cynic. I think it's all make believe. I don't think I'd love to feel love, to fall in love. I don't think it happens. I don't believe in it. A bit like God. Don't believe in God. Don't believe in love. You are Sorry. a cynic. Don't believe in it. But do you know what? It doesn't Thank happen. God, you've got happen. me to love. <laughs> Thank God she's got me to love. It doesn't happen. I love. So, so you obviously love her, right? I As love. Mate, she's my mate. I love love. I love love. But and I, I'm looking for that companion again. Yeah, last time And I All would love to find my happy ever after. You know, whatever years I've got ahead of me. But for the moment, <laughs> I have to make do with her. <laughs> so what will you say is the key? to longevity in a relationship? Trust. Companionship. Harmony. Chemistry. You know, Lauren, I think there's connection. a special word, there's a special word, which is... So if you um, just come in the shot a bit, you're out of the shot. Who, me? Yeah. Oh. Um, what's that word where it doesn't matter who you are, what you are, what you've done? Unconditional love. Unconditional. Yeah. Unconditional love. I love you for what you are, yes. who you are. It doesn't matter where you come from. That doesn't happen. It does. It's make believe. No, it's only it, on TV. No, in my in my books, it does happen. I've, I've lived it. I've experienced it. I love it, and I just want it again. I really, truly, genuinely do. I'm in the autumn <laughs> month of my years. I know I don't look so old, but <laughs> I are you You're free? Beautiful. Are you free? I mean, are you married? <laughs> oh! <laughs> Have you got any single mates to fall in love with? <laughs> Honestly, it's not a lot to ask for. It is a it lot to ask for. It, it is. isn't. No, it is. Oh, please believe it me. It's beautiful. No, it's Once you on find TV, love, it is like beautiful. No, I've lived it. It's bollocks. It's not real. Are Are you allowed to swear? Oh, I've lived myself. it. Anyway, over and out. Peace. <laughs> so much, See you again soon. <laughs> Thank you. Bye-bye. What is your definition of love? 
fire. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Def I don't know. Handsome man. God, <laughs> put him right on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what, what, what makes you fall in love with someone? You must have a reason why you fall in love. How did you fall in love with me? Oh. <laughs> it was the drink. No, I'm joking. <laughs> 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 no, no, really. Funny Guinness. <laughs> <laughs> Important experience. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, you know what? Oh. Attraction. I, attraction. You know what? I tell you what. The very first time I met this girl, she was behind the bar. I was the far side, and I said, you know what? I want someone like that. I want a girl like that. I need a girl like that. She is so lovely. Her smile, <laughs> her personality, her just the, the uh, whole aroma about it was just fucking beautiful. And <laughs> we, I, I was on dating sites and I was way looking for a girl like that. And then we end up getting together. Girl <laughs> herself. So to me, <laughs> that's love. A year and four days. Two days. Two days. Two days. Two days. Two days. Two days. <laughs> two days. So what would you say is the key to a successful relationship that would last that long? What's the you guys this month? Fight and get everything every, everything in the open. Right. And you're going to fight on a regular basis. And it's going to be over on a regular basis. But it's going to be all in the open. Get it out there. <laughs> and then you can go happily ever after. So I'm going to ask you guys a question. Yeah. I'm going to start with you, sir. What's your uh, definition of love? My definition. Uh, I'm going to start off with a quote that I heard again today, which is basically about uh, loving something. So if there's a plant, you might see a flower. And if you like it, you'll pluck it off the tree. Uh, if you love it, then you'll want to water it. And you know what I'm saying? That kind of stuff. So that's my basis of saying that um, appreciating something and wanting to help it grow and be itself more and protect it and consistently be there for it under different conditions you know what i'm saying so yeah that's my thing right now i understand it and for me can i just say same yeah I, because i feel the same but also i think my quote is more so from bell hooks where she talks about like the on, spiritual wanting the spiritual growth and something else do you remember the quote but yeah what bell hook said i feel like that which is about nurturing and just wanting the best and nurturing that other person's spiritual growth yeah okay now starting with you lady yes what would you say is the key to a long and successful relationship i think that listening to the other person and being patient <laughs> and also understanding and not taking things personally everybody's their individual person so yeah just have to be understanding not take it too personal take it light, <laughs> light take, and, take have, it with fun. and yeah. have fun yeah have mm. fun definitely i hear the, i hear the fun part especially uh, and myself uh, a long lasting relationship Dedication. <laughs> um, and what else I say? A balance between uh, being cultivating yourself and uh, being yourself, and having space for the thing that you're cultivating together. Basically, mm. that's what, that's what I'll say. Because if you lose yourself in it, then there isn't. You're not bringing yourself to the table, and mm. then if you're not looking after the table, then it's not good. For yourself uh, and your partner to eat. Aye. And we like eating, bro. Yeah, we like eating, trust me. <laughs> My definition of love would be looking at something, and when you look at it 10 times, it would still be the same as you looking at it the first time. I think that, like, you can look at the person 10 times and you still smile the same way you smiled the first time. I think that is love. Like it just doesn't go away. You're, you're, the smile would not change from the first time you see the person. So then, I think that's, I think that's my definition of love. Yeah. So, what would you say is the key to a long-lasting relationship? Uh, I, I definitely think this is a very generic one, but I think it's trust. You gotta be able to trust the person and um, what they do behind your back. You. you no, you don't want to have questions about it. You just want to trust the person. 
I think that's the key to a long lasting relationship. You trust the person with anything, your secrets, um, letting them meet your parents, your family, your loved ones, and the trust to let them know about your sensitive side. I think, I think that's, that's the main thing. I mean, to add on top of that as well, it's like true love, I think is a lot of people can't do with silence. But if you're with somebody and you don't even have to say anything, you can just enjoy each other's company. I think that's true love as well. The fact that you don't have to fill in the gap with nonsense. So what is your definition of love? Uh, I think there are a lot of kinds of love. I think that when you talk about love, people just refer to the romantic love. But I think that love can be family, friends, whatever, your neighbors. So I think that love is something that is empathetic with you, something that cares about you. And yes, yeah, something that is, uh, I think that love should be unconditional. I think that real love is unconditional. And when we're talking about love that is conditional, probably is not love. They say that healthy relationships, love is not unconditional. But I think that, as I said before, there are a lot of kinds of love. And people just think about romantic love, which is not everything. So yeah, just love is someone caring about you. <laughs> I'm a bit drunk. I can I do it again? I'm gonna do it shorter. <laughs> no, you're good. Yeah. <laughs> so, what would you say the key to a long lasting relationship is? Okay, number one, probably you're not asking to the right person. <laughs> number two, I think that is accepting each other. I think that sometimes imagination, imagination and what you want the other person to be is not aligned with what this person is. So, you try to change this person, and this can bring you to conflict with this person. So I think that acceptance is the key point. And then I think that maybe not lifestyle, but that you are kind of similar, at least in some basic things. And I think that have the same values is a very important aspect. You can be very different from the other person. The other person can really enjoy sports and you can be more kind of a lazy person. But I think that you need to have the same values and make sure that your person values are aligned to yours as well. So I think that these are the key points for a successful long-term relationship. What is your definition of love? I think, I think that's a very good question. I think it's a sort of everyone has a different definition. I think it's just sort of unwithering support. It's where you feel comfortable. I think everyone's, you can't, it's not something that you could easily put into words, but it's a state that you're in, it's like, that, that it's like, I don't know, like a feeling of overwhelming joy and, and happiness that you can't really put into words. It's just a feeling that this is home or, or this person or this person is someone that I would support through difficult and easy times without it being a burden. I could sometimes, supporting people can be tiresome, but sometimes it's easier than anything really. Sometimes it just makes sense. It's just that person makes sense. It, it fits what I need it to be. I don't know, I think that's my definition, but yeah. What would you say is the key to a long and successful relationship? Understanding, understanding. I can go into a relationship and say, or I can go into my marriage or whatever and say that I want this, this is, I want the, this criteria that I mean. And it's important to say this is what I want and for the other person to say this is what I want. But it's important to understand that you're two individuals and sometimes I may want something and the other person may not, but I have to support them through that. And, and that's what it is, is, we both have to feel comfortable to be ourselves and express ourselves and support each other in that environment and push each other to do better. And once you have that support and understanding, then I think that's the key that I can appreciate that, that, that I can support you in your hard times and you can support me. I think that's it, yeah. I'd like to ask you, what's your definition of love? Love? In the sense of love of your wife or your love of your... Oh, yeah, love is a couple. Love is is a wife. couple, yeah. yeah. It's love about working together, being together, and being... working around everything that goes on around you. Whatever happens, we love each other. Whatever happens over there, over here, we love each other in here. So what's the key to a long-lasting relationship? Whatever goes on in your life, whatever goes on, just keep working together. Whatever's outside, 
you know you love that person inside. Oh, just repeat. <laughs> <laughs> what is your definition of love? What is your definition of love? When the sun goes up every morning, when I see her. Thank you. This is so nice. So, what's your definition of love? I don't know. I can say that's for for love. Is there is no fixed definition. I can say it's like art. When you see, you know that it's art. You don't you don't know how to explain it. There are maybe different type, different style, but you definitely know when you see a piece of art that is art. And I think when I saw him, I said, oh my God. <laughs> yeah, that was. That's beautiful. Yes. So my next question for you is, what do you think is the key to a long lasting relationship? I think uh, the key is that you still can see the sun in the morning when uh, uh, it is rising uh, every day and uh, um, sometimes it's a cloudy day and sometimes it's a sunny day but uh, still you have to appreciate that uh, the sun is uh, coming back the next morning even though that is that is even, a cloudy, even, there, even is there is a, a cloudy day <laughs> <laughs> yeah no. i think it's like to accept it to each other i guess this is the thing that you cannot pretend to change the other. You have to accept him. If you cannot accept it, just let it, let him leave, to leave, to find another person who can accept this person. I think it's about that. Yeah. Difficult, huh? It's not easy, but it's like, I get it like this. What is your definition? My definition of love? No one's ever asked me, you put me on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what you are saying. My definition of love is knowing that someone is the most important person to you in the world mm -hmm. and making them believe it with your actions every single day yes and making them feel loved safe secure and yeah. making them feel important in your life as well yeah and i think that's the most important thing and the key for a long-lasting relationship as well i think respect honesty transparency um Emotionally as well, being transparent emotionally as well. Yeah. And I also think just having fun. Having yes. fun. Laughing, knowing that no matter what's going on in the world, your happiness is sacred in the last month. Yeah, when, when people ask me, who's your best friend? I say, Johan is my best friend. Cannot be other way. He's my best friend. That's beautiful. Yeah. That's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> The Jersey Show. Hang on, we can't film. Do you mind? <laughs> <laughs>